<laughs> He's loving this. My name's Guy Kesterman, and I've been testing bikes for nearly 25 years. And you saw me build these two on one boot zippers up last week. Uh, so now it's time for me and Jimmy to take uh, these ultimate pub bikes for a bit of an ultimate pub ride. But I figured, as they've got all these fixtures and fittings for bike packing and a bit of exploring, don't just go to the pub down the road, go to the pub the other side of, well, not even this dale, but the next dale over. So that's where we're off. As you'll see, me and Jimmy riding slightly different bikes. I'm on the 650B, Monster Cross, and I've specced it up with some of my own choices of about 10,000 possible items off the uh, Planet X stock list. Well, Jimmy, he's riding the 29er version, and he's pretty much stuck. Apart from those kind of Jones style Jeff bars up front. But I figured having a bar like that be a good place to put your nose bag. But in terms of actual frames, both double butted chromo steel, both finished in a raw finish so you can see all those joint details. It actually looks really, really slick. And on that 29er, you've got wet look, and then on the 650, you've got more of a matte finish. Now it's a 70 degree head angle, which is obviously pretty steep these days, but the reach is relatively short. But then you've got to remember, with these bars on, you're adding a bunch of reach anyway. So, riding position feels fine. You've got a relatively steep 74 and a half degree seat angle for going up techie bits. And the overall ride feel really nicely sorted. Certainly doesn't feel cheap. But then it's a decent double butted steel tube set. And well it's not the lightest vehicle around I think. It's 13 and a half K. I mean, a kilo and a half of that is these steel forks. It's not gonna get damaged easily if you're in the back of beyond or you ride home go from the pub. Ends in a bit of a wreck. And the ride quality is actually better than some much more expensive bikes I've ridden recently. <laughs> to be fair, so is the handling. And it still gets up stuff if you're determined <laughs> without being too punishing through the back end. And I'm liking these uh, pod sacks fork bags. Not a massive fan of a heavy bar bag tends to bugger about with the handling. But keeping them low, keeping the low riders down there, adds a nice bit of stability. It's that 70 degree head angle and short stem. So, it's all working out pretty nicely so far. <laughs> Did you drag up through lead mines? They're not feeling too lead-like. And you also get different spec levels. So I've got the Apex bike, because that's got drop bar levers on it. Obviously the road, road gravel group set. Whereas Jimmy has got an SX Eagle mountain bike group set. I've got cable brakes and he's got hydraulic brakes, so. I think his comes in about 100 quid more, so 699 current pricing. But they often do bundle deals and kits. And you can get 10% off if you actually go down to Rotherham like I did and build your own. 
and as well as the stock builds, there's all sorts of options. And there's generally a few listed on the Bike Builder website, but there's also loads. You can just browse around Planet X website and add pretty much whatever you want. Well, the totally custom bike, like this one. And another thing I've fitted, that it's not standard spec, is a 460mm version of this Brian bar, just to give a bit more leverage when you're descending. So it normally comes with a 42. Middle of nowhere, broken road stuff. Whether it's somewhere in Nepal or just out the back of Nidderdale. That's where this sort of super versatile, super tough, that's a utility bike really. It really comes into its own. But it plugs on in surprisingly good comfort and speed. Still comes up a rise nice enough. It's no heavier than a full suspension bike. Well, the Fox, it costs a couple of hundred quid more than this complete bike. Well, that's lunch sorted, thanks to Craven Arms over in Apple Tree Wick. And uh, now I've just swapped bikes with Jimmy, so he's on the 650 and I'm taking the 29er. And we're heading back home over uh, Box Downs Mall. And we've got a hefty tailwind, so uh, we're up as zipping along. And these Jeff bars are so upright, I've had to actually <laughs> change the angle on my GoPro. So it's still looking down road. I have to say, having the extra hand positions, really nice. Already enjoying it. I mean, these 29 wheels, obviously, a bit slower to accelerate, and especially with this Jeff bar on, feels like a more casual ride, but I tell you what, it rolls beautifully. And even though the tyres are smaller volume, because you've got a longer fork, and longer chain stays, again it's really surprisingly smooth. These chest bars just have a bit of width when you've no idea what's under the snow, but you're still tramming on. And hydraulic brakes are a bonus too. We both had an absolute blast on these today. Yeah, they're weighty, but I'd rather have a nice ride feel. Certainly on an adventure like this, where it's not really about speed, it's just about getting out there and exploring. I'd rather have that ride quality than I would a bit of extra weight. And you've got to have plenty of uh, money left. The problem is if you go for these on ones, that's for sure. You know, this is what I was doing in the early 90s, bombing across moors like this. Here's a pie in my backpack. And it's still an absolute hoot. And it's just great that with bike like, like this, you don't need to spend a fortune to really enjoy it. And whatever price of bike you're talking about, these boot zippers are really nice to put together. Really nice welds, which is you know, obviously very clear under these lacquered finishes. You've got all the bike packing features you need. So you've got fork mounts for the fork bags. You've got three bottle case bosses, two in the main frame as normal, one underneath. You've got rack, mud guard mounts. And then if you do want to get more rad on it, you've got dropper post ports in the seat tube as well. This really does take me right back to the good old days, riding me fully rigid Davy 8 around the moors and dales, but of course back in them days we didn't have the luxury of disc brakes or 29 wheels. And I think to be fair, the old Niver Crom Davy 8 probably wasn't as sophisticated a tube set as this either. <laughs> and that's the whole point of the boot zipper name. It's a bike that takes you back to your roots. You know, when the roots like this were one of the biggest challenges you faced in mountain biking. You know, before it all got bike parks and stuff like that, but you know, in either format, surprisingly capable. 
and really cultured bikes. I mean, for the price, I'll be honest, I was expecting a couple of nails really, which is wrong, because Planet X always do a great job for the money. And they've been doing really good riding steel bikes for not a lot of cash since the inbred. And they've got the Holdsworth steel bikes as well, and two tie bikes, and that's the other thing you've got to remember. You, you know, you've got two boots, because here you've got that more agile, kind of single track friendly, more responsive 650 that Jimmy's riding there. You've got the more well, steady cruising 29er that I'm on here. We've also got a huge range of on one hardtails, like Whippy, Scandal, Big Dog, and then if you really want radical. There's the Hello Dave coming soon, which has got properly sick geometry. So there's pretty much every kind of hardtail from Carbon XC bike through sort of bike packing adventure bikes like this through to properly radical hardcore hardtails. So there you go. On one boot zipper, 29er or 650 bike absolutely belting surprisingly cultured really versatile and a ton of fun to ride uh, for an absolute bargain price me and jimmy have had a proper proper quality day out considering how much these bikes cost well regardless of how much these bikes cost this has been a proper quality day out so thank you very much to planet x and on one for sponsoring this video thanks very much to jimmy coming out for the day uh, thanks to Craven Arms for a belting pub lunch and uh, yeah thanks to you guys for watching if you like what I'm doing with the channel uh, don't you know please consider sponsoring me on Patreon because uh, that means you get access to a load of early edits and behind the scenes stuff and extra footage that you won't normally see on YouTube or Facebook so again thanks to Jimmy I've been Guy Kestivan this has been Guy Kest TV and we've been riding the on one boot zipper 650b monster cross and 29er kind of well my little jeff interpretation on the standard boot zipper 29er absolutely cracking value steel pub bikes however far away the pub is